Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I hope you're all alright, it's Martin here. It's really, really good to see you. Um, it is 10 to 4 in the morning. Yeah, I can't sleep. Um, I've just been downstairs to make myself a cup of tea. My cup of char. I've got it in my mum's cup because she's a cancer. So she's the crab. Um, I'm the Scorpio. The... Uh, yeah, Scorpio. Um, so I've got my cup of tea there. Um, I've got my uh, ribbon. It's not twine. It's kind of like a thick, tissuey, kind of papery. Yeah, strong. I've got this. I got this in Sainsbury's ages ago. And I've got my fall leaves. My fall autumn leaves. I picked up in the range ages ago. I was ages ago. I think it was about a week or two weeks ago. Um, what I'm planning to do, um, I apologise again if it does look like I'm not looking at the camera. I am. I promise I am looking at the camera. It's all. It's only because I'm using my old tripod. And uh, I've got my phone facing like that, instead of like that, if that makes sense. That's my, that's my stapler, but you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it looks like I'm not looking in the camera, but I am, guys. Okay. okay, so the plan is, I am going to try and make my own full Halloween bunting. Or garland. <clears throat> I was going to use, I've got my, I've got this glue called the all purpose glue. Um, it, it's quite a strong glue, but it's quite uh, not as strong as super glue, it's like a silicone glue, but it does get very, very messy. But it's easy to get off your fingers, so it doesn't stick your fingers together like super glue. Um, not that I suggest you go and super glue your fingers together. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I thought because it does get quite messy. So rather than use the glue, and it will be quicker. So I'm going to use my stapler. So I'm just going to basically just staple these on, and just hope for the best, really, and just um. Yeah, and try and make my own homemade garland. Um, when I'm on here, I'll let you guys know. Um, hmm. um I'm not having a Halloween party. Um. Because um, I think I told you guys I'm doing like a, because um, <coughs> my birthday's in November and I have a week off in November and um, so I'm going to be doing like a, it's kind of like a slash 41st birthday but a kind of a, a well done congratulations, a celebration of mum's life. Um, I'm in the middle, I've already, see I'm fully organised. And as I've got older, I'm a bit too organised now because when I was a lot younger, I used to leave things right to the last minute, you know, um, and sometimes do. Um, so I've done my little list, tea party. This is going to read backwards to you guys. So, yeah. Um, so in my. Um... Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so this is my. Mm. Little uh, my little uh, list, um. So yeah, basically in my hometown, um, I have uh what they call um the big party store, mm. um, and it does a lot of fancy dress, a lot of party stuff. You can order, um, you well you can rent out a a bouncy castle for your birthdays and stuff. They do all 
balloons for ages and all different types of um you know yeah birthdays weddings and stuff um so i'm gonna try and get some well done balloons or proud of you balloons i'm gonna try and pick up um a couple of pinatas but you can pick them up anywhere really and then we have um a florist we have a couple of florists but we have a local one where we know the lady that works in there she's very very friendly and uh, so i'm going to get some uh, uh flowers sent out on the day and i still i'm if i'm right in saying i i believe that sainsbury's do this thing where you can go there and tell them all kind of what party food you want write it all down tell them they do it all and then you just have to go up uh, go up and then pick it up and you know they do it all for you um <clears throat> so the plan is i know i've already talked to you guys about it so the plan is making my mum believe that um, because my mum's not really a party person you know and i think she's sort of she's afraid that oh loads of people are going to come in the house they're going to get really rowdy and drunk and you know and probably break things and you know and but that's not the case you know and they're very like set in their ways they're very you know i mean mum's 80 now and my stepdad's he's 74 um but what i'm going to do is make my mum believe that um you know to say oh one of my friends is popping around you know to come and see me for a quick cup of tea um and they're just dropping off my birthday present and she'll be like, oh okay no that's yeah that's all right um so then so when all the people arrive i've got like my cousin and a couple of friends i think it's just about four or five people coming so it's not going to be like a big rowdy bunch you know um and then we'll all be out in the kitchen and um hopefully fingers crossed i really really hope this does go to plan because it's getting on my tits now where you know i plan things and then i just hope there's not going to be another lockdown or anything you know um or something bad happens you know i know i shouldn't think that way but i just fingers crossed and pray to god that it does go swimmingly well you know because i had to cancel her 80th surprise birthday party last year although she did have a good birthday this year you know she's very spoiled um um from the family and that you know so she did have a good birthday um but it didn't exactly plan out how you know it was meant to plan out but she still had a good day um so yeah sorry i'm rambling on now so the plan is is that i'm just going to make her believe that oh a couple of people just popping around to um drop off a my birthday present and while they're here they'll have a cup, quick cup of tea so what they do is they come in and we just sort of um like sit in the kitchen and that you know um and stuff just yeah pot around in the kitchen and then when mum's in the living room we'll all go into the living room and then like pull the party poppers and go surprise you know um yes yeah, like surprise her mm. So we're doing that. So my birthday is like two weeks after Halloween. So I can't really have a Halloween party and then a birthday party smack bang on each other. You know, on top of each other, I mean. Um, so what I'm doing for Halloween, uh, my friend Faye and her little girl Florence, who's going to be five at the end of the month, um, where they live, they kind of live in sort of like the middle of nowhere. So they don't really get... A lot of um, uh, trick or treaters, you know, and there's not really, uh, you know, there's not much places to go for her to take her little one to trick or treating. So uh, yeah, there's not many places to go. Um, so I said, what I do is I'll do the house up a little bit, make it all nice for her, put some cobwebs up and um some flashing lights and stuff you know make it look all you know halloweeny and that have like some music playing in the background and i'm gonna make a, a non-alcoholic punch because um because obviously she's just a little kid and uh faye won't be drinking because like me she's not a really big drinker she'll be driving as well um and just make it really nice for her so we're just 
just be like like standing in the kitchen um in october you know for halloween just having like um drinks and nibbly bits and then i thought to take her around near where i live um so she can go trick or treating and just go to the houses that are all done up and stuff and uh, and obviously the neighbors that i know very well um you know the nice ones to go to um so yeah so we're going to do going to do that you can probably hear the seagulls in the background yeah sounds like i'm on the beach but obviously i'm not no um <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah she's gonna like come round to mine like sort of late afternoon um and uh yeah i'm just gonna put on some nibbles and stuff and uh and then just make her evening of it just have some nibbles and some drinks non-alcohol drinks of course you know um and i'll just do the house up um, I'm not getting very far with my bunting, am I? Am I? Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, just make it all really like nice for her, you know, and then, then we can go look forward to doing our trick or treating. Um, we get all dressed up and do me Halloween makeup. Mm. Yeah, so I look forward to that. Now this is going to be a a quick, easy peasy DIY. Really, really easy. Because I do love DIYs and I'm always, as you know guys, I'm always on YouTube and I'm always looking up for easy DIY um, Halloween ideas coming up with. Um, but easy ones I can make. I don't like anything too, too hard, just... So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not looking too bad, actually. Where is a necklace? Or a headband? I think they do headbands like that, yeah. Like I say, that this doesn't have to be perfect. Do you know what I mean? And this is something you can do with the kids. You know, they like do making these. Um, or if it's just something you want to um, quick, easy DIY. You know, for Halloween. Yeah, yeah cause when talking about mum, because, um, again, um, it was a weird one because, like, Because um, although I've told you, like obviously, you know everything, you know, and it's all it's all good, you know. She's as good as got the all clear, and you know, and I keep going on about it. Um, that um, you know, because it's gone on for about a year and a half now. You know, it's been it's like nearly over two years, almost three years, and you know, and I, I still um sort of fuss over her, you know, and I'd be like, every five minutes, you all right, you sure you're okay, you all right, you all right, you know, and she's like, yeah, I'm fine, honestly, um, 
so I've kind of just you know I know she's as good as got the all clear you know and she's in remission it's fantastic it's such a weight off our minds but for nearly three years you know just you know having embedded in our brain that she has cancer you know um I don't know just I mean I am focusing them on the good things you know but you know I'm checking every 24 you know like you know every minute you know are you sure you're okay you're all right you're all right you know I'm probably getting on her nerves asking her every five minutes um but you know this is the third time she had cancer um you know when I was a toddler she had it on her hand and she got the all clear and then she had um um, I hope I say this right, polops, you know, and she had them burnt out and um <clears throat> just gonna have my tea. Um <clears throat> but they just weren't clear, you know, they just weren't so clear about it, you know, like about four months ago. She got a phone call saying, oh, you know, you haven't got long to live. You know, so then, you know, we're crying nearly every day, you know, um, you know, thinking, my God, she's going to die, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can't, I don't know, I don't know how to sort of explain it, it's it's weird and then you know thinking about making funeral arrangements so then then she gets a letter and it says the cancer could come back so then we questioned it and we thought well they're saying the, the cancer could come back does that mean that it's gone then um they weren't exactly clear you know they were quick in telling us that you know that um you know she hasn't got very long to live but then so anyway um, mum had a phone call and um and mum said you know has the cancer gone there's no pain they said yeah that that means that the cancer has must have it must have gone yeah you're in remission sorry we should have told you um yeah so it's just a bit you know you know it's slowly kind of like sinking in you know like yeah but, um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, I've put it on Facebook and, you know, and I've told everybody, um, I kind of, I didn't want to get too, you know, even though I've told everybody, you know, and it's great news, I, I kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, I was afraid of probably getting upset or something, you know, or, you know, I'd be a blubbing mess or something, but um, it's just, I don't know, yeah, big weight off our shoulders and just like, yeah, hmm. yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, it's, yeah, it's mixed emotions, I think, it's just um, happy and just, although 2020 has it's been a really crap year for everybody, but I think also, um, you know, and it's been really hard for people to deal with, you know, people like who have anxiety and depression. It's been very hard. It's been hard on everybody. You know, they can't deal with, you know, the whole, you know, um, I don't know, the whole like strict instructions, you know, like you have to go a certain way, you know, you know, the queuing up and you know, um, following the guidelines and that, not touching things or something like that, and people getting really arsy with other people, you know, and stuff, you know, I've seen all that, but I don't know, also at the same time, the good side of it, it I think it's been a big wake-up call for everybody, and it's kind of, um, in a way I think it's brought people closer that we've all kind of you know you've seen these kind of thing happen in other countries and then when it comes down here 
when it's in your country, when it's here in England, it's a big like, wow. And to the point where we've had to stay at home with our families, I think we've learned to kind of, not that we've, we don't appreciate one another, but I think it's made us learn to appreciate each other more and, you know, and just, you know, yeah, just, you know, I remember ages ago, um, I was watching Barb Streisand in concert, um, on, on DVD, not actually in, you know, and she said, God created us different to know our need for one another, you know, and I think it's taken something like this, and I, and I mean, it shouldn't have taken something like this, but it has, it's taken something like this to kind of just, to know our need for one another, and to, yeah, kind of reach out more, yeah, and I feel, you know, although 2020 has been a crap year, I think it's slowly, slowly creeping, slowly getting better, we're noticing differences, you know, um, it's slowly getting a little bit better, um, I wouldn't say it's a good year, but good things have happened, if, if that makes any sense, you know, like, mum getting the all clear, you know, um, yeah, um, and I suppose really, really thinking about it and opening up to you guys. And I was just thinking of you guys tonight, actually, you know, and I, and I do want to let you know that you're not just subscribers. You, you are my friends. And some of you have become really, really close friends because your comments are really deep and very meaningful, you know, and you say the most wonderful things you know, you're such a good son to your mum, you know, um, you know, I wish you were my son, you know, um, I can't wait to meet you, and, you know, and I, I really, you know, I am touched, and I'm really overwhelmed, um, yeah, um, you know, and just, um, yeah, just, uh, just thank you, just thank you so much for reaching out to me and reaching out to mum, and I think YouTube, not just YouTube, but you guys, you, yes, you, <laughs> um, and there's so many of you that has been so, so kind, um, you know, if I leave anyone out, I'll give you another shout out on my next video, but, um, Sonia, Susan, Sharon, Lady Likeables, Emma, um, Spooky Halloween, um, Elizabeth, Donna, um, just, this is where my mind's going to go blank now, um, <clears throat> Fiona, um, loads and loads of people just leave so many wonderful comments and I'm just I'm really touched honestly I'm really touched and since starting my YouTube over a year ago you know and now getting more subscribers you've seen how genuine I am you know um you know that I am just me, I am Martin, I'm just, you know, um, I'm not doing YouTube for money or anything like that, you know, I just do it, you know, because I love doing it, you know, I just, I get a real sense of enjoyment doing this, and I just, um, and I, I can't tell you how touched, you know, I am, you know, you've been so, you've been absolutely wonderful, you really have, honestly, um, I know I'd start welling up. <laughs> this was only meant to be a DIY video. <laughs> um, but honestly, you've been just so kind to me. Um, you've 
you've been really really kind and just and you just reached out to me when I really needed it to me and mum and and for that I will always be truthfully thankful honestly to you guys thank you so so much thank you right so and because I've had no sleep either so <laughs> um so yeah I'll carry on with doing this now yeah so thank you again guys thank you TT and I've become really really good friends actually with um the people on YouTube um me and um spooky halloween you know we often have our little chats on messenger um you know we've got a lot in common with like our halloween and and just other stuff you know and he's such a great such a great lad um so please 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 go and check out his channel yeah oh Spooky Halloween and Spooky Vlogs, and also my friend Donna, Donna X Scratch, and we've we've really become close, really, you know, and we've opened up to each other, and you know, swap numbers, we you know we chat, um, really help one another, um. And I think that's what you sh YouTube should be about. You know, we should just, you know, we're all doing it for the same reason. We all, like, we're doing our shopping hauls and walkthrough videos and DIYs, whatever, you know, whatever. Um, we do it because we enjoy it. Um, I don't think we should be taking the time out to leave nasty stupid comments on people's videos because I think there's no need for it um, I think that you know we're all in this game together so I think us youtubers we should all all just support each other yeah, we should all just support one another. Um, and that's it, yeah. Well, I have... Well, I say I've finished. I think that's quite long enough now. I still have some left over. I was going to do the whole lot, actually. Um, I'm still not sure. But I might just use these just for table scatter. Just to scatter like yeah i think that turned out quite well actually Right, so it's all finished. I just had to uh, tidy a couple of them up because I, um, so I've got the ribbon on on one side. Got it on that side, the ribbon. But then I. Um, 
stapled a couple of them the wrong way around. I think they turned out all right, actually. Not too bad. I'll hang those up. Fold those up and put them away. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a massive big thumbs up if you did, because um, that would mean a lot. And um, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. And if you do, I'll get back to you. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. That would really mean a lot to me as well and um, go ahead and click that notification bell and if you click that that just lets you know um, it notifies you um, that I've uploaded a video to YouTube so thanks very much again um, thanks again for all your love and support um, towards me and mum thanks for watching my videos thanks for supporting my channel um, thank you for everything I'm going to enjoy the last bit of my cup of tea and sit and eat my OT biscuits. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. I'm off to bed now like you do at half four in the morning. Yeah. See you later guys. Bye.